October 10th, 2025. At nearly three times farther from the sun than Earth, a graduate student triggers NASA's swift telescope, expecting nothing. But in seconds, the impossible appears. 3i slash Atlas is leaking 40 kilograms of water every second, 8% of its surface erupting, when physics says such ice should be frozen solid. Even veteran scientists admit every interstellar comet has surprised us so far. Typical comets sleep at this distance, but this one breaks the rules, outgassing water in defiance of every model. If comets from the stars can behave like this, how many other laws are waiting to break? The evidence hints at forces and secrets no one saw coming. So, what is 3i slash Atlas hiding in its core? On October 10th, 2025, the Swift Telescope's ultraviolet camera caught something no one had ever seen. The signal was unmistakable. Hydroxyl, a molecular byproduct of water, glowing in the comet's coma. Zexi Xing, the Auburn University graduate student who initiated the observation, had to double-check the pipeline. 40 kilograms of water vapor every second, streaming from 3i slash Atlas at 2.9 astronomical units. The team had used Swift's event mode stacking, slicing each exposure into 30-second intervals, then recentering on the comet's path to beat the telescope's tracking limits. When they stacked the frames, the OH emission line cut through the background, far above any noise. Xing's lab notes captured the shock. Every interstellar comet has surprised us so far. This one broke every model the moment we saw it. Standard comet physics says water ice should be locked down, inert, at this distance from the sun. Yet, the data forced a hard calculation. Over 8% of the comet's surface was actively venting, more than double what's seen in even the most volatile solar system comets. The ultraviolet fingerprint was too strong, too clean to dismiss as error. Colleagues pored over calibration files, checked for cosmic rays, reran background subtractions. Every test pointed to the same result. In the space of a single night, the rules governing comet activity had been rewritten. The anomaly wasn't a statistical blip or an artifact of stacking. It was raw physical evidence, caught in ultraviolet, confirmed by a stunned team and now impossible to ignore. Thermodynamics draws a hard line for cometary activity. In the solar system, water ice remains locked down beyond 1.5 astronomical units, too cold, too distant for sunlight to drive vapor into space. At 2.9 astronomical units, the energy budget is simple. Solar flux has dropped to just one-eighth of what Earth receives. The numbers should be absolute. By every standard model, a comet here is a frozen relic, its surface inert, its core insulated by regolith and dust. Yet, 3i Atlas is venting water at a rate that demands more than 8% of its surface is active, over double the maximum seen in even the wildest outliers from our own system. Thermal conductance, the metric that governs how heat flows from surface to interior, sets a strict upper bound. For a typical comet, only the thinnest shell, just millimeters deep, ever warms enough to sublimate ice at this range. The rest remains untouched, locked in a deep freeze. But the ultraviolet signature from 3i Atlas insists on a different reality. The activation distance rule, a cornerstone of comet physics, collapses in the face of this data. The comet is behaving as if the sun is twice as close, as if the laws of heat transfer have been quietly rewritten in the outer solar system. Standard equations, albedo, emissivity, latent heat, fail to reconcile this eruption. The models break. Physics blinks. Impossibility quantified. By mid-October, the countdown accelerates. 3i slash Atlas races sunward, 
but the geometry of its orbit turns against Earth's astronomers. The angle between the comet and the sun, solar elongation, shrinks with every passing day. Once this angle drops below 30 degrees, even the largest ground-based telescopes are rendered useless. Scattered sunlight floods detectors, drowning out the faint glow of the coma. For most observatories, the practical viewing window closes well before the comet's closest approach to the sun. October 29th, Perihelion, arrives with 3I-Atlas at just 1.36 astronomical units from our star, but by then it is lost in the sun's glare. The blackout is total. Earth's most powerful eyes, Hubble, JWST, the VLT, are forced to stand down, their schedules overtaken by the comet's relentless advance into the forbidden zone. Astronomers scramble to capture final exposures, recalculating pointing limits and exposure times as the deadline approaches. The sense of urgency is palpable. Once the window slams shut, the only hope for new data rests with spacecraft far from Earth's line of sight. The global astronomy community faces a hard truth. For weeks, the story of 3i slash Atlas will unfold out of reach, hidden on the far side of the sun. In August 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope locked its gaze on 3i slash Atlas and returned a spectrum that defied every expectation. The numbers were staggering, carbon dioxide pouring from the comet at 129 kilograms per second, while water vapor trickled out at just 6.6 .6 kilograms per second. The ratio, nearly 20 to 1, instantly set 3i slash Atlas apart from every comet previously measured, interstellar or native. For context, even the most volatile solar system comets rarely exceed a carbon dioxide to water ratio of 1 to 1. Here, the balance tips so far that water becomes a trace component, not the main act. Infrared line fitting confirmed the result. The James Webb Space Telescope's NIR-SPEC instrument dissected the coma's light, isolating the sharp, unmistakable peaks of carbon dioxide, water, and a suite of minor gases. The production rates held steady across multiple exposures. Peer review teams pored over the radiative transfer models and dust subtraction files. No sign of contamination, no calibration drift. The chemical fingerprint was real. Dr. Lena Sato at Caltech, a plasma chemist known for her work on micrograin ices, offered a provocative hypothesis. In her lab, plasma arcs across mixed carbon dioxide and water grains can trigger jets of gas at temperatures far below what sunlight alone would allow. Sato's unpublished notes describe microcrystalline grains launching bursts of carbon dioxide and water at just 190 Kelvin, conditions matching the outer solar system, not the inner. She cautions, though, that lab analogs can only go so far. We're seeing a mechanism that's plausible in the lab. Whether it's acting on a scale of kilometers in space, we just don't know yet. The implication is unavoidable. Either 3i slash Atlas formed in a region of the galaxy where carbon dioxide dominates, or its ices have been processed by forces unknown in our solar system. The comet's chemistry isn't just unusual, it's a direct challenge to the boundaries of planetary science. In 2017, astronomers caught their first glimpse of an object from another star system. Oumuamua, o mu o a mu a Unlike any comet seen before, it flashed past the sun without a trace of dust or gas, its path nudged by some invisible force. Theories multiplied. Was it an icy shard, a nitrogen iceberg, or something else entirely? With no coma and a shape more like a pancake than a pebble, Oumuamua defied every expectation. The public seized on the mystery fueling debates that spilled far beyond academic circles. Now, with 3i slash Atlas, the script flips again. Here is a comet that looks familiar, 
tail, coma, jets. Yet its chemistry and behavior are even stranger than Oumuamua's. Each interstellar visitor rewrites the boundaries, reminding both scientists and the public that the universe still holds surprises we can barely imagine. Between October 17th and 19th, Mars became humanity's last outpost for tracking 3i slash Atlas. ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express risked their cameras in the harsh glare, executing a narrow window of exposures as the comet swept past the red planet. Operations logs revealed tense debates. Some engineers pushed for caution, but planetary scientist Dr. Claudia Darren insisted no other craft will ever see an interstellar comet from this vantage. The resulting images, faint but unmistakable, captured the nucleus and coma at unprecedented resolution. As Earth's telescopes fell silent, attention shifted to ESA's JUICE mission, set to observe in November. Yet, with data not scheduled to return until February 2026, the world waits. What secrets are locked inside these files, and will they rewrite the rules of planetary defense? On October 10, 2025, Swift Telescope data confirmed that 3i slash Atlas was releasing water at 2.9 astronomical units, 40 kilograms per second, with 8% of its surface active. This rate is unprecedented for a comet so far from the Sun and contradicts standard thermal models, which predict such activity only within 1.5 astronomical units. Spectral analysis by JWST later revealed an extreme carbon dioxide to water ratio of 7.6 to 1, raising new questions about the comet's chemical makeup. Despite these breakthroughs, the mechanisms driving this early and intense outgassing remain unknown. As ground-based telescopes lose sight during perihelion, Mars orbiters like ExoMars TGO and Mars Express provide the last opportunity for close observation, with ESA's JUICE mission scheduled to return new data in February 2026. The true nature of 3i slash Atlas, whether shaped by hidden reservoirs, exotic chemistry, or processes yet undiscovered, remains an open question. For now, 3i slash Atlas stands as evidence that even with coordinated global effort and advanced technology, the universe still defies our best explanations. <laughs>